Today's efforts are the second coat on some of these things. I have elected to not do a bead of caulk in all the corners, which some people recommend because it's, uh, I suppose, very fast. I had the people who did my upstairs, they did that. And I actually went along afterwards and ripped it all back out again and redid the corners in a way that I thought was proper. The result is a much sharper um, joint or whatever you call it. Um, all of these corners, of course, are going to be painted at least once. And so over time, um, the sharpness will fade. So I figure the least I can do for myself is uh, keep it as sharp as possible at first. Um, because that makes the painting so much easier. So uh, the other thing I did, again, because, you know, I do the way uh, I learned from Vancouver Carpenters, instead of trying to do both at once and inevitably getting, a, you know, a slop in the crease, I only do one side. So one side and then I guess one side here, um, which kind of slows me down because it means I can only, if, if I go early enough in the morning, and I'm not a morning person, so this never happens. If I go early enough in the morning, I can get this side done. And then later at night, when everything's dry, I can come back and do the other side. Um, my natural sleep cycle does not uh, really agree with that. Um, so I suppose I can either ignore my natural sleep cycle uh, and get it done, or, uh, you know, I just take extra time. But at any rate, um, the second coat is half done. So only one more coat is required. I used a six inch knife, which is odd for me. Typically I use a trowel, but uh, after the second coat is done, then the third coat will be done with a the trial, which uh, which I like and, and puts a whole lot more goo down all at once.